The absence of the Spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ results in the inhumanity we experience in the society. Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama, the Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, said this in an interview with CTV News in Abuja recently. We are happy that God is blessing us despite all the numerous challenges. We are still alive and in addition to that he is sending us hope through Jesus Christ. So we are happy to welcome Jesus. All we say is we should open our hearts and receive Jesus because when Jesus is in us, his spirit is moving us, his spirit is influencing us and directing us, we can never go wrong. It is the absence of the spirit of Jesus in human beings that creates this inhumanity that we witness. Violence and, and, and banditry and kidnapping that a human being is taken away in order to suffer and he may even be killed. So we pray the spirit of Jesus will take possession of not only Christians, but even those who do evil, that they will feel the impact of Jesus coming in the world and avoid doing these terrible things to humanity. He further condemned the continuous killings, which he pointed out is not limited to a particular group, but affects the entire society. It was Boko Haram in the first place, then we got terrorists that joined, then the kidnappers, then the bandits, and so the criminality is evolving in such a manner that I think we should wake up. And that is why the outside world is thinking the Nigerian government is doing very little about this. So why should be people missing? And um, it's not possible to locate them. And this goes on again and again. And then people are asked to go and fend for themselves. If your family member is missing, you go to the security agent. They say they can do very little. Go and settle them. That is not good. So our government must be held responsible. And if they don't want to be ridiculed by the international community, they should wake up and do something more serious. Considering all the killings, either by terrorist attacks, considering the people kidnapped from their homes on the streets in broad daylight, in the night, they suffer these attacks and so on. And then you hear very little that is being done. So I wouldn't be surprised if the international community labels us as people who don't care about human lives. So it's not about religion now. It's not about um, where you belong. It's about the safety of human beings in Nigeria, the sacredness of life that doesn't seem to be respected. And this is going on and on. So if we want our name not to be you know, pulled, uh, put in the mud, we must do something as a country. And we have the capacity, we have the means. Only we must be honest and sincere.